Tom Kercha lavora come evangelist dei videogiochi per Adobe. Ha iniziato occupandosi di Flash più di 12 anni fa e ha lavorato in studi che si occupano di interattività, società di streaming e fornitori di telecomunicazioni. In questo momento si sta concentrando sullo sviluppo dei giochi, ma in Adobe si è occupato in passato dello sviluppo di applicazioni in real time ed ha lavorato su progetti legati al peer-to-peer, -peer, allo streaming, alle video chat e alle IPTV. So right now we can see a lot of things happening online, you know, especially in terms of 3D and uh, GPU acceleration in the browser. And this is something that will allow people to do completely different things than ever before. You know, like uh, before when we started consuming web, it, it's been only about the text. Then we added images, interactivity, uh, asynchronous calls on the server and uh, video. And right now we can see GPU graphics uh, inside the browser, which is great because right now you can really build uh, games you are, uh, you are able to see on consoles like PlayStation or Wii or Xbox. You can see or you will be able to see these games uh, very, very soon online on Facebook and other social networks, which is great. You know. So uh, we can really see the web becoming the console in terms of gaming, you know, and that's, that's really uh, exciting to see. So when I started with Flash, it's been purely for animation and it's been transitioning from uh, Flash 3 to Flash 4 and uh, you could use ActionScript 1 and then ActionScript 2 later on and it was actually very, very beginning, you know, and uh, you could uh, use things like vector graphics and bitmaps and combine them and build uh, simple games like Tetris maybe. But uh, during the time we added a lot of things into Flash and uh, really as, as I told you before, as I said before, uh, it's, it's, it's changed massively, you know, right now you can see uh, social online AAA games approaching the web very soon and uh, you can also see games that were originally or built that you would build before for the desktop right now you can see them online you know so uh, it's been really a lot of things uh, in terms of allowing games inside the browser and finally we are getting there so I would I would definitely say that uh, you are you are, as a person, you're never finished, you know, you're never finished product, you know, you're always learning new stuff. Every year you have to learn something new and this is where we live. It's, it's a very disruptive time right now because we have so many new technologies like tablets, phones, smartphones and uh, what you want to do is to create things for all of them because you are the creative mind. You know? And uh, when I started uh, in the industry like uh, telco and, and streaming, that was purely because uh, there has been a lot of money, you know, so uh, I had to pick something which was interesting for me in terms of uh, development and uh, I basically picked these two categories because I had a, a long relationship with uh, audiovisual communication and I was building things like video chats and uh, video streaming applications for live streaming and also for static streaming. So that was very important for me and I learned how to learn, you know, and that's the point, you know, you learn a lot of programming languages and that way you can learn uh, new technologies very fast and that's really cool about it, you know, so, so this is something which you can just call as an experience, but uh, I started building games a um, couple years ago and right now I'm building 3D games online and it's a lot of fun. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do in the future, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be really exciting. As I already mentioned, you know, uh, there is something going on online right now and it's going to be very interesting because it's, it will enable AAA gaming uh, on the web. And that's something we were not able to do before, you know. So uh, take all the Facebook games right now and imagine all these games are in 3D uh, with super beautiful graphics, uh, uh, with particle effects and uh, a lot more visual, uh, vi visually immersive stuff like uh, lights and shadows and smoke and all these kind of things, you know. So it's going to be definitely a lot more um, interesting to play these games and uh, also uh, right now you think about buying a console and so on, you know, maybe you will reconsider this in the future because you will have similar quality games online in the browser. Um, so before I've been working on real-time apps like video chats and uh, like uh, collaborative apps and so on, 
Right now I'm working more on multiplayer games. The concept is basically the same. You connect users together among them and they can play or communicate together. If, either if it's chat or either if it's uh, position of the car, you know. So the basic concept is, let's say, completely the same. But uh, the application is a bit different, you know. So you use the same technologies as before, uh, like peer-to-peer -peer, uh, inside a flash or uh, socket communication, but still the concept is the same. Connect people together and let them communicate either visually, uh, like using audio and video, or uh, using, uh, let's say, car, you know, I mean, like racing or RPG games and so on. So 